going to talk about personalizing your digital planner, especially those that use e-ink devices. Now we have developed a handful of tiles or digital stickers that help you personalize your planning system. Today we're going to showcase an app called UPDF that works across Windows and Apple, iOS, as well as Android. This app is going to help you take those tiles and build your own custom templates that you can import into your e Ink devices. It'll also help you take existing templates that you have from us as well as any other digital planner and customize those as well so you can import them into other apps like GoodNotes, NoteShelf, and Nobility, and many other PDF annotation apps. This app is great for personalization when it comes to the digital planning systems and the different devices that you use. So stay with me as we show you how to create personalized pages for your digital planning needs. All right, so let's jump right into it. This app is something I've used a number of times. It is an app that you can go ahead and download. There is a free version to it that you can use for a limited number of uses. There's also a paid version, and we may have some discounts in the description below for you to take advantage of. But this is gonna help you personalize your digital planner or any PDF for that matter. Now, if you find something out on the web, a digital sticker or a tile that we call them, professional stickers, and you wanna start building your own pages and customizing those layouts, this is gonna help you do that. And more importantly, it's gonna help you pull it into different types of apps on different devices. Today we're going to show you the Remarkable, which is an e-ink device, similar to probably like a Kindle Scribe or an Onyx Books, but this allows you to off-site make those edits and then pull those customized pages right into your planning system. So let's jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in new PDF and find our application uh, on our computer. And you're gonna see it's gonna open up here. This is what the blank canvas looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my tiles. Now, when you purchase a tile from us, you're gonna get a set of different tiles that look like this. It's gonna include some uh, different PNG files that allow you to personalize, and it also gonna include some sample sets uh, to allow you to edit. I'm gonna show you how to edit some of this here in a moment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to build uh, a custom tile for myself. I'm gonna go into Edit PDF. I'm gonna click on image, and from here I'm just gonna tap the screen. It's gonna pull up uh, my finder, and you can locate wherever you have your images sorted or saved on your computer. We're gonna go ahead and pull in the balance wheel labeled, and hit open, and that's gonna insert that right here on the page. Now I can go ahead and click and add another one. This time I'm gonna put in the assessment blank, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. So I can put that down here, this allows me to go ahead and rescale that image. So I'm gonna make that a little larger. I'll make it a little larger, recenter on the page. And then I'm gonna take this one here and make it a little smaller. Now, one thing I wanna do is I talked about making some edits. I'm gonna click on text and I'm gonna go ahead and put here, and I'm gonna put the word career. Now we already have that one set up as a, a default, but what's nice about tiles is you're able to go ahead and personalize these however you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a bold font, make it slightly larger, and rescale that. And then I can move that however I want. So we can go ahead and we can continue to build out and customize these different tiles. I'm gonna to continue to add images. For here, I'm gonna do a reflection tile and put that up here in the top corner. I may make that a little bigger as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on another image. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose my living keys. This time I'm gonna choose a blank one. The reason I'm gonna do that is so that kind of matches uh, what I had over here as far as tiles goes. And I'm just gonna come over here and click on text. Come back here. And I'm just gonna copy that text. And I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna paste that text. That way my formatting and everything stays the same. Go back to image. Click down here, and this time I'm going to put out my roll and lay that here. And now at this point, I'm just going to probably rescale this a little bit, maybe bring this down, 
put a little bit more space in there, add a little space up here. But now I essentially have made my tile. Now if I wanted to, if I wanted to create a hyperlink, I could do that. Um, in some devices, hyperlinks work really good for you to bring things in other elements. You can see here that I have, um, when I rescaled that, I need to, and move that, I need to bring that down. That's nice too, is I'm able to take these tiles and continue to work with them as I'm doing different things in the, in the tile itself. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete that one there. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save as other. I'm gonna to choose to save as. Because I have a free version, I'm gonna save with a watermark and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and hit save. And now from here, I can minimize this and go ahead and open up my Remarkable app. And I'm gonna go under my planners. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop, which is where I saved that file. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in here. Now, as you can see, there's my file. And in a moment or two, after some synchronization from the Remarkable app, it's going to appear on my tablet. So you can see there I created a folder that was actually for my tiles. And now I can go ahead and click on this tile and it'll pull my tile into my Remarkable. So this will allow me to have that customization that we talked about. And that is really powerful but when it comes to creating tiles, when it comes to utilizing devices like this. There's tons of different tiles. As you can see from our website, we have everything from project tiles, meeting tiles, contact tiles. You can use an app like UPDF and create your own notebook full of tiles. So if you wanna create a recipe book, if you wanna create a contact book, you can do that with these tiles. You can make them your own and then you can import them right into your Remarkable. And that just gives you the flexibility to make this a personalized and customized device. So there you guys have it. That is using a PDF annotation app, UPDF, to personalize and make your own tiles that you then can import into your e-ink devices. If you guys just learned one thing in this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to learn more about digital planning, apps and technology and devices that support it. And if you have any questions, hit the comments. Myself or somebody else in the community will gladly help you out. I'm Brandon Bonderfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner, and Lord willing, we'll see you in the next video.